How to get marriage help. I'm alone in this. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. So we got uh, an email here. Let's get into the email. Um, I mean, no point of return. Still married, acting as his wife and waiting for him to change. Hmm. Point of return. She's in no point of return. Still married, acting as his wife. A lot of people doing that. <laughs> and waiting. Yeah, acting as well. And for me personally, I was at a place where I was okay for you to just act as a wife. Mm -hmm. I used I used certain choice words like, oh, she want to be a maid? Let her be a maid. Take care of her kids, you know. Whatever. I'm not a maid taking care of my You're kids. You're not a maid, of course not. I'm a mother. <laughs> you know, I have no problem. But, but you were cooking for me. Do all throughout the poor people tell you yes. shut up, you're cooking for that's me. That's the right thing to and, do. Would and, I stop cooking? Uh, like, so I you know, I mean, you know, you That's petty. No, that I was know. being petty, of course. Yeah, like 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 no, <laughs> I'm just gonna cook my own and my kids' food. I want No no no, not only would that be petty, I was being petty by saying that. <laughs> by saying if you wanna be a maid, be a maid and take Imagine. care of my kids, you know. But that was, you know, that was me finding ways for me to talk myself to not to feel good worry about, about you yeah, 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 yeah. and feel good about it and yeah, just yeah. move on about my, my yeah. life, you know. But yeah, so but point of no return, still married. A lot of people act like that. all those videos don't address the most important factor in this. Both people have to be mentally healthy and agree to implement these steps. This is all bullshit. It makes me feel even more hopeless. So this person uh, was watching videos. Probably watching videos on YouTube can... and Facebook on ways to have a happy marriage. And she's like, you know what? F y'all, man. <laughs> so she was hearing... she, she just, just, you know, people are very quick to advise and say, just communicate. Communication is key to marriage. Date every once every month. Oh, sorry. Once every week, every other day. And people are quick to say things like that. But you know. people always do those things and they still have these issues. Not only, yeah, one, two, right? I mean, some A people. person with a spouse who, ha who has shut down on them. Mm-hmm. It's not, no does not have that themselves. luxury. No, they don't. They don't have the luxury of somebody coming to the table and working with them. And say, honey, where are we going this yeah. week for the date night? No, or for the marriage counseling. It's like marriage counseling. I don't want to be with you anymore. Don't touch I to me. I told you three months ago, you don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be with you anymore. I told no. you I'm finding myself. I right. need to. So why don't you just file a divorce? I'm not leaving my kids. That's what she told me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I leave my kids. I leave my kids for no one, right? I'm not but my kids. but people give whatever they say whatever because they're in that state where they are just as confused as you are, right? right? Because if they're not confused, they're not going to put you in a confused mode. You're married. They're just as confused. Uh, but people go around giving all this te all this um, advices or communicate. Like the point is not communication. Mm -mm. In fact, for a lot of people, they've over communicated. They've talked too much for a lot of people. Uh, date every every week. Uh, you have to want to, she has to want to go on a date with him. That's right. She's not going to date herself. He has to, wanna, he has to want to go on a date with her, you know. So I think this person has been watching videos and uh, I picked up this from somewhere and I thought it was interesting to, to, to address the question. Mm. That's why here we focus on broken marriages because... If you don't feel like your marriage is broken, frankly, you're good. I don't think so. I think you should still learn. <laughs> you should still learn some yeah. of this stuff so you can see signs when it's coming. You can see when there's complacency and know exactly what to do about it because it's inevitable. Every marriage will go through this one, in one shape or the other. Yeah. Every marriage will go through this Every type of single misery. Marriage. And when it happens, it's going to be one person who basically said, I'm out. And the other person is saying, I'm going to fight. I mean, that's the only reason why marriages are going into trouble because somebody said no more and the other person says, I'm going to fight. Mm. If we both says we're going to fight, then we don't really have an issue. We just go yeah. to marriage counseling and sort the issues out. That's right. But sometimes it's also camouflaged that we just, we just argue. Just argument is devil. It's, that's the devil. That's one of the for fastest real. way for devil to creep into your marriage. Yeah. True, true, um, true. Uh, seemingly harmless arguments. Yeah, it's like, oh boy, it's healthy for couples to argue mm -hmm. from time to time, but 
uh, when just you a don't know debate. your limit or mm-hmm. where to start. And then they go and say, so you just agree all the time? Um, <laughs> yeah, when you agree too much too, it's, it becomes a problem. <laughs> of course, because it becomes a robotic thing, right? But there's, there's, there's wisdom in what we're saying. And mm-hmm. what, what we want you to do is tap into what we're trying to say from a, from a wisdom standpoint, okay? If you argue about that girl who walked by and you said, no, her pants is too short. And I said, no, her pants is not too short. I didn't think her pants was too short. And basically when you said her pants was short, it was just, you just can't stand the girl. Like, what the hell's wrong with her? <laughs> who does she think she is? That's basically what you're trying to tell me. Mm. And I didn't catch that. I was just basically being objective mm-hmm. and logical. That, that pant was not that short. Mm-hmm. And you're basically like, no, it was short. What's your own? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then it becomes your own. It becomes your own issue. <laughs> well, it's now your own. You do enough of that in your marriage, it, it, you're going down hills. <laughs> okay? So, I don't think it's possible to not have argument at all. No, it's but impossible. The, the idea is the awareness that mm-hmm. argument excessive excessively will kill your attraction will kill your marriage all right so what if you're trying everything you can to make your marriage happy again going to a counselor is what we need but the other spouse doesn't think you need it that is often how it happens yep she asked me for uh marriage counseling a few years back Mm. i said no i can't i i don't want to waste 400 dollars on some nonsense Mm-hmm. Right? You said it was nonsense. So, guess what? She's all alone in that. Mm-hmm. So, it's not as simple as just communicate. I shut off. Mm-hmm. Once she decided to shut off, I said, let's go to marriage counseling now. I was like, hell no. No, you went to one. I went to one basically, and I rolled my eyes the whole basically, time. Basically, all she did is, and for the first time, <laughs> she's actually the one that educated me on that, on that, you, on what it means when you look somewhere when I say something. I'm like, yeah, she does that. And I, at that point, I still didn't take it much of a big deal. Right. But she said, when you shut, that's shutting down. She actually mentioned that that day, mm-hmm. that when she, when I say something, she would just roll her eyes and go that way. And basically she was shut off. And after that, it was basically trying to pull teeth to get her to cancel it. Bottom line is that counseling doesn't work when the marriage is already, in most, in, in a lot of cases, it won't work once one person is already shut off. Right. What you need is to coach yourself on how to attract that person back before you worry about counseling because you need two people two to be able to go to a counseling that will work for you now you can go to counseling by yourself if you consider that your own form of coaching Mm -hmm. that's completely up to you but we do have products on our website for that as well starting with this free book that you can use to absolutely coach yourself get my marriage back you can find it at getmymarriageback.com so the other spouse doesn't think you need it so a lot of the advices that people give on marriage are, I agree, complete bullshit because it's only designed for two couples who want to do, who want to fix it. Mm-hmm. Usually two couples together don't want to fix it. There's only one that's fighting and the other one is shut off and done or just can't see that their marriage is in a bad place. Mm-hmm. I didn't see for eight years straight mm-hmm. that my marriage was in any type of uh, issue because I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not going nowhere. That means she's not going to go nowhere. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's how most men think. feel. <laughs> <laughs> They're not thinking. Mm-hmm. They feel. They feel. <laughs> right? If they were thinking, they would know that. Um, they would have seen signs. Um, she can decide to go somewhere. She, I, she don't owe me nothing. All right? She doesn't owe me anything. That's double negative. I need to speak my correct Nigerian English. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do I do in that situation? I'm alone in this and trying to get to him to see how I'm feeling. He isn't supportive. Well, uh, he's not supportive. He can't he's, be supportive if he's shut down. He's shut down. He's turned off. Attraction is is basically closer to five than it is to ten on a scale of one to ten. And what you can do to do to get that back is your self-respect. You need to get that back. You need to love on yourself. You need to focus on yourself. And you need the GPS. That means you need to create a new relationship with God. Brand new, you know, because uh, if you did have that, chances are uh, you won't be in this situation. But maybe mm-hmm. you did, maybe you didn't. Well, mm-hmm. you need to kind of like put some fire behind that so that you can see that you're changing as well because chances are you've shown up in certain ways that has been 50% responsible for the state of your marriage right now. Yep. 
right? And then your personal purpose, and then your self-respect. All that it's in this book, all right? So go ahead and download it. You need to work on this. Read it 10 to 15 times. You cheat on that, I can't help you, you know, but you need to read this 10 to 15 times. If I were you, I'd be curious to try the first one first and see our story is in there, okay? Exactly how we made it out of that situation. Yeah, our situation was worse than that, okay? So uh, it's in there, get it, My getmymarriageback.com. Click like, smash that like button, click share, and uh, comment your questions below. Hopefully you've been enlightened and educated. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.